Side. So, I thought I uh, needed two days to finish it, but I did it in one evening. I did it in one evening. <laughs> in uh, about three hours, I uh, created a space marine with a power sword. <laughs> and uh, if I ever play it in eight, it's probably going to be a, a champion. Plague Marine Champion with a Plague Sword. I don't know. So, I uh, base coated it uh, with white primer. Afterwards, I uh, put my own uh, mix on it uh, made from home paints, like uh, this. Just mix a few drops of uh, Vallejo uh, green with a lot of uh, olive drab from the Praxis, which is a Home Depot kind of uh, store, and uh, gave it a second coat with that. And afterwards, I uh, shaded everything with uh, Ecoline. And Ecoline is uh, kind of like a, it's not really inked, it's a, I think it's a water based aquarelle thing. It's water paint, and the color fades over time, but I don't really care what it looks like in 20 years from now. If I keep it, uh, out of direct sunlight the color will be just fine and after I put the eco line on there which is like a sienna color I uh, spray it sprayed it with some uh, some varnish and uh, after the varnish I uh, put on a built on green ink uh, no that's a that's a shade from uh, GW from Citadel I put that on there and after that I used this wash I made from uh, some uh, Vallejo dark brown paint uh, mixed with uh, Chaos Black from uh, Citadel, a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of glycerin, some uh, medium, Got this medium, it's a gel medium. And I shook that. And then I washed it, and it's not like Agrax. It's not as warm. It's uh, it's more gray. It's somewhere in between Agrax and Agrax and known oil now. And then I uh, dabbed it all over. Afterwards, I took uh, a purple uh, ink, a very old uh, pot from uh, GW, and then I panel lined it. I, uh, Pin shaded it with the purple and after the purple was gone or after I was finished with the purple I uh, started adding in the gold trimmings so first I did uh, did a coat with uh, this adding marker adding 750 really bright gold really bright gold sticks in one coat go over one coat and then I uh, took my uh, Windsor Newtons. I have these in all different kinds of metallic colors. They really, they take really well. And then I went over it with a little bit of a rose gold and some silver. So I did all those edges, all the little embellishments on the knee pads, the trimming. Afterwards, I painted the. sword golden one side normal gold the other side rose gold did that on the same did the same thing on the the other end and then i uh, put it i uh, i put some uh, purple wash over on top and after that i did some uh, caraboro uh, red wash over that and then i came in with the silver tap pen and i uh, highlighted the edges And afterwards, I uh, gave it a, a little uh, more metallic, uh, but this time the silvers and the, the bolt gun colors, they were all done uh, with the, the adding pen. I got a silver one of that and then touched up with uh, Bayajo gun metal. When that was dry, I uh, washed it again with my homemade wash. 
and yeah there was this person on instagram who had uh reminded me of a technique i used to use uh, for uh making uh, bubbles but this person used it to make like chaotic strands of gut dangling from sources all over the chaos uh, marines so I thought let, let, let me try my hand at that so what I did is uh, I mixed contact glue with power glue just like a big splash of this jelly substance one drop of contact glue I mix it here with this thing mixed it and then I uh, dragged it all over the miniature and then it set kind of rubbery once that was uh, set, I uh, brushed it with the uh, uh, acrylic medium. This mixed uh, with a little uh, Carburo uh, red and a, a little old school uh, blood red. And uh, then I got this here. It's like a really glossy paste. It's very pink. When you first mix it but after a time it sets really red and that like this is really fresh that was done just done just now but after a day it will look like this it will the colors will deepen become more gory and this looks actually very sick if you uh, put a black wash on top of it so but that's tomorrow but uh, the glue it damages the paint job like you see here strips everything off so I'm going to have to do some uh, little touch-ups there Put a little bit of uh, house paint on there a little bit E. coli and when it dries I'll uh, wipe it with built on gray or green yeah, and that's it so that's what I did uh, with my evening tonight hope you enjoyed it What's up? Like, subscribe, leave me some love, leave me some hate. Do what you gotta do in the comments. And, uh. Yeah, I hope to see you next video. <laughs> I think it's ready for Shadow War. I think it's ready for Kill Team. I think it's ready for Eighth. Let me know what you think. Goodbye.